In this video, we will demonstrate the proper use of no Chromex cleaning solution for cleaning laboratory glassware. Sometimes scrubbing glassware with a brush and detergent fails to remove all the organic materials. Consequently, water beads up on the neck of flasks or inside pipettes or burettes. Various cleaning solutions can be used, but one must keep in mind that they're dangerous if they get on your skin. We will be using a solution that contains both concentrated sulfuric acid and a strong oxidizing agent. If you use this cleaning solution, wear gloves and goggles and work in the hood. Paper is used in the working area so that spills will be obvious to users. If you spill, immediately pour sodium carbonate on the spot and ask your instructor for assistance. If any cleaning solution gets on you, don't panic, but wash it out immediately with lots of water. In this video, we will demonstrate cleaning a pipette. In addition to the storage bottle for cleaning solution, you should also have available three small beakers for manipulating the solution, a wash bottle, and one or two paper towels. Since the stopper sometimes is wet with cleaning solution, you can grip it with two fingers of one hand and hang on to it while you pour some solution into one of the small beakers. 30 or 40 milliliters should be plenty. Clean up the bottle with a paper towel before you set it down. Then return the stopper. Use a rubber bulb to suction some cleaning solution into your pipette. Don't try to fill the pipette. While maintaining the tip inside the beaker with cleaning solution, seal off the open end with one hand. With a paper towel on the other hand to catch any drips of solution, lower the upper hand toward the second small beaker. Be sure it is in place to catch any liquid coming out the upper end of the pipette. Rotate the pipette gradually as you pour the liquid out. This will ensure that the cleaning solution covers the entire inside surface. After touching off any drips, move the open end of the pipette to the third container. Rinse the outside of the pipette using the washer bottle. Using a paper towel to catch any drips, rotate the pipette so the small end is directed into the container. Finish by rinsing the inside of the pipette with lots of deionized water. Be sure to rinse the pipette with two or three small portions of whatever solution you are about to measure in order to avoid diluting the solution with traces of the rinse water. Cleaning solution can be reused, so return the liquid from both small containers to the storage bottle for the cleaning solution. Rinse water should be poured into the acid waste container to be neutralized before discarding it. Be sure to clean up when you're finished. If you have dribbled cleaning solution, pour a little sodium carbonate on the spot to neutralize the acid. 